G'day collectors, I'm Jay and welcome to Uranium Glass Collecting. Well, today you'll see that I've got a selection of depression type jugs on the table in front of me and these are what I want to talk about. So these are fantastic for if you're starting out because they're pretty easy to find, readily available um, and in all different makes and models. So for the beginners, it's something that you can find on Marketplace or um, any sort of app that accesses or allows people to move these on. They were back in the 30s, 40s and 50s, readily available, easily made and lots of them. So what are you looking for when you buy these? Well, the front two ones here, a nice green depression glass and I rolled the dice, 50-50 chance and unfortunately these do not glow but they're a good representation of what you have to be careful of when you're out there buying because obviously you can't put a torch to them. You're buying off, say, Marketplace on Facebook in Australia here. You can go to the person's house and then pull out a torch and joke, but you know, you're sort of half obligated to buy it by then. With collecting these water jugs, or otherwise known as lemonade jugs, you always want to make sure you get a set. That's the best way to start. And I have two sets here, this, this one here and this one here. A set is always a jug and six glasses. So whenever you're collecting, there's lots of liqueur sets out there and stuff. Doesn't matter how big or small the glass is, it has to be six glasses. And that makes a set. You can buy, I have a classic example here of a jug and I brought two glasses that come with it. Now, I'm going to be forever chasing to find the other four. But, you know, I found one in a Salvation Army store and another one in another thrift store somewhere else. So, it can be done and you can build the sets up. So, what are you looking for when you're buying these things? You're looking that they're in reasonably good condition. A lot of the ones that I have, which are 40s and 50s and 60s, sorry, have like these trim gold bands around them. And some of them have wear, some of them have rub out marks. People use these sets. They drank drinks and cordials, lemonades and waters and punches from them. So they have wear marks, they have uses marks. Like anything, you wanna to touch it, you wanna to run your fingers around it, you wanna make sure there's no chips, that there's no chunks taken out of the bottom. With the jugs, you're looking at the handles to make sure there's no cracks, that it's all being pressed nicely together and that it's um, basically got no chips or cracks in it. They come in a variety of different shapes, colours, range. Um, this one here is probably my most spectacular one. It's been done on a couple of pieces. They've blown the glass, they've pulled and made the handle and added the handle, and then they've made this really thick, fat, white counterweight bottom on the end and put that on. And then it's got the pump finish down the bottom that's been polished off nicely. So this is a craftful piece. It's lovely and it glows spectacularly. I have a set of that. It's got a gold, sorry, silver band around it. And also another thing if you're collecting these, make sure you count the bands versus the bands on the glass. I have a set of six glasses, but I also have two spare glasses, but they have an extra band on them. So they're actually not part of the set. They'll be part of a similar a different set. Um, the most spectacular one that I have is this one here. Uh, unknown age, possibly 50s, 60s, could be 30s, could be earlier, but all similar sort of genre, so I'm thinking probably 50s. Somebody out there will be able to tell me. Beautifully made, lots of skills go into these, you know. But this one in particular has like a carnival pattern running down the side, and that matches with the glasses that I've got. And I've been very lucky in finding a set of these glasses that are in okay condition. Um, the pattern hasn't worn, but they, you know, they've been used. The gold on the bottom has been rubbing off a little bit. Um, and I also have four backup glasses. So that's always good if you're going to on sell or move these on. These are great to sort of buy, as I say, on marketplace, places like that. And you can roll the dice because usually you'll find them for anywhere, and I'm talking Australian dollars as always. So this set I paid $35 for, this one I paid 40 
This one I paid 25, but this one I paid 55. This one came as a set of six and I paid 50. And this jug by itself was brought to me by a family member and it cost the 30 odd dollars. So you can see, you can pick them up relatively cheaply. They're a good cabinet filler. They fill your cabinet up really well. They usually glow really well. This one is an absolute legend glower. It's got plenty. They've all got plenty in there. Sometimes what you'll find is just the handles glow. That means that the handles have been made out of a different um, kiln, a pile of glass in the kiln. And this has been made with just the depression glass side of it. But all of mine, I only buy them if they glow. So they all glow. Um, so that's about it. Those are my big jugs and that's my big set. And they're a fantastic filler in your um, cabinets. So go out hunting, go out looking, look for, make sure you look for the chips and the cracks. Don't buy them, they're worthless. They're not worth anything. Um, and get those sets because the sets are what collectors want if you're looking to on sell, always six. Unless you've got something spectacularly different and unusual like this one, you get a better price for the jug, but the set will always sell so much better. So go out there, good luck, happy hunting out in the wild. I uh, hope you find some amazing pieces. There's been some cool pieces on Facebook lately in the groups. Um, and enjoy. So we've just got a bit of a bonus feature guys and girls, I've uh, just been down to the local antique store and they have a bit of a sale on and couldn't really go past this, so a little bit of an unboxing, so we'll just do it. Any guesses? What do you think it looks like? I think most of you would be able to guess what this is. but. We shall continue. So this is a little bit different in the sense that um, most of these are fully uranium or fully depression glass. But I found this was interesting because this one, ta-da, is clear with the matching lines down the side. So this, this lid was made for this glass. It's perfectly clear, but a beautiful, piece of uranium glass. Sorry, I don't get that off the paper so we can see the glow. It's a beautiful piece of uranium glass sitting on the top. So my torch is going flat, which is not good. So that was a good little buy. No chips, no cracks, no nothing. Original dish and piece, probably, I don't know, 50s, 60s, maybe even 70s. Um, but a dish, let's have a look, bring it up. Is it going to focus for me? Butter dish, $45. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? Just wait one moment. Next to it was, ta-da, an extra lid. So it would have been two of these dishes somewhere in the world at one stage. And of course it is uranium glass as well. And it glows better than that. It's just that my torch is dying. And that was a butter dish lid for $10. So we got 45 and 10 is 55. I know what you're thinking, 55 for that. Yeah, it's a bit steep, but the antique store is having a closing down sale. 30%, $38 for everything. I thought that was a fairly good buy. That gives me a piece, that gives me a piece to find. So it'll eventually give me two pieces 
um, I might be able to find a, a lid, a uranium base that fits these lids. Um, if not, I'll be on the lookout for my one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five stripes down the side panel dishes. And another one. Or if I break that, I have a, rec have a secondary piece. So for $38, very happy little shop and fine today. And they didn't know it was uranium glass. They didn't test it. So little bonus, very happy. Hope you found some cool pieces out there on your weekends. All right.